Bienvenidos a Opulent LG TV. Desde Tempo, Minnesota, directamente a Miami, Florida. Trayéndote todo el juego. Can you, uh, can you speak on the 150k uh, Drake put out for the info? Oh, hell yeah. That ain't discreet. I can talk about this shit all <laughs> let's, let's. Oh, I like these conversations. This is street shit. Okay, let me tell you about it. <laughs> this bitch ass nigga, Drake sent some niggas to Atlanta not knowing. See, this, this and this is why I say Kendrick fucked him up at. Kendrick Power trickled down to me. He tried to come down here and get some niggas some money to put information on Kendrick. Now, mind you, I can't get on information on Kendrick because I'm only tied to his his friend named L. L is actually on the timeline with us. L got less followers than me. People are so dumb, they don't realize it's people with like 100 followers or like 5K followers that's it's actually like re related to this nigga. His sister is on fucking Twitter. All of us are on Twitter. They just looking at me because I got so many followers. I said, bro, y'all niggas don't really understand what's happening. So they come to me. They try to get one of my little homies. Yo, this, you, uh, um, 150k. They try to get 100k, right? So I say, what they asking for? They say they want to know something about Kendrick. I said Kendrick ain't from Atlanta or fucking Chicago. So what? What the fuck they asking? They said, what do you know about that? What did you know about Whitney and all that shit? And I said, Whitney who? My girl? I said, cause my girl ain't Whitney. They said, no, Kendrick, Kendrick girl. I said Whitney is up there with him. Now mind you, that's a bombshell. They don't know that. Drake talking all this shit about why you live in why you live in New York. I said, oh, they stupid. I said, take the money. I'm gonna tell them a lie. <laughs> so I took the hundred. I said, matter of fact, on top of that, I said, tell them put the fifty k on it, and I will tell them where they at. I told them Kendrick was in fucking L. A. Still. They gave me the money, and I gave fifty k to my niggas, and they was like, oh, we got it. And they was like, why you in the next song? What was that song? Um. What song? Family Ties came out. Um, 150K. And I, we laughed. And I said, that nigga's stupid. So while Drake was talking about bait and all this shit, I said, nigga, we got your money and you ain't even getting nothing. <laughs> so you didn't get no information, you dumbass nigga. But I couldn't say it. I that reverse even... mole shit he did was so corny. That was so yeah. corny. That was so fake. Come on. <laughs> Drake is dumb, bro. I said, this nigga is really <laughs> He is so fucking stupid. They gave me the, I said, give me 50 more K and I'll tell you something. I said, okay, um, they in LA right now. Mind you, Whitney and fucking Kendrick is in fucking New York at the time. That nigga Drake was ain't street. He doesn't he doesn't he ain't street. He doesn't know this shit. He's getting played. Exactly. He a Canadian nigga trying to get information from black Americans from the hood. Don't right? know nothing about this violence. No, that he nigga got, he got extorted. That nigga stupid. That's why I was talking crazy on the time the other day. I said, I got this nigga. I said, I got 150 bands for nothing. And that's what Kendrick said. You came back with no receipts. I said, exactly, nigga, because you, you fucking stupid. You didn't even know he was fucking idiot. You gave me 150 bands. I should have asked for 200. But that nigga wouldn't put family ties out. And then, and then Kendrick smoked his ass. I was like, well, that's what you get for trying to. He said, you try to put money in the streets and you came back with no receipts. I said, exactly, nigga. <laughs> I said, like, you stupid ass nigga. He's fucking and it's not the first time he's done that because it backfired with Pusha too. This nigga can't learn from his mistakes, clearly. He think niggas gonna tell him for money. I was like, you have to understand something about hood niggas. Certain hood niggas that are broke will give you the information. If you run into a nigga who is not, the thing about him that fucked him up, I'm popular, right? So when you run into a popular nigga, you have to understand, I already have money. So you can't really get anything out of me that I don't already have. Like, giving me 100K or 150K is like giving me some shit that I got for a feature. So I'll take that any time of the day. He didn't realize he was talking to me. I was like, I'm not going to destroy a nigga from America for some fucking idiot. You idiot niggas. So I said, you got the game fucked up. So he lost. He lost his money. And then he had to take that air when Kendrick responded back to him that fast. I said, oh, this nigga's green. That's what we that's what we call it. We call it green. This nigga green. He don't know nothing. Bless his tribe. It's the God Oplin, LDTV. So yeah, you heard it. This rapper named Cooley Bravo alleges that he hustled 
Drake at 150k for some fake fake info on Kendrick. Now, all I can say is that this is alleged. I don't know how true this is. We're in a time. We're in a time where people love to clout chase to try to get famous. So this could just very well be a a uh, we would have a uh, what well, we would say a. Uh, an opportunity for this dude to become more known because he's a, a rapper that really nobody knows about. I don't know about this cat. But anyways, man, let's just say, let's play devil's advocate. What if this is true? This kind of sounds like something Drake would do in a sense. I don't know Drake personally, but he gets that there's a lot of chatty patty ass ninjas. And this sounds like something that he would possibly fall for. And then if you listen to the clip, if you hear in there, it said the same thing pretty much happened with when he was going against Pusha T. So, and like, I just got to keep it a buckle, y'all. Drake doesn't have that street credibility or even that. He, he just doesn't get it. He's a Jewish kid who just so happens to have a black father from Memphis in America. That's it. He's he's really out of the loop on the culture per se. I mean, he yes, he watched it from the outside looking in, but and I get it. Canada, Toronto is right above. Buffalo, New York is right there, like an hour and a half away. And he's watched it. And I'm sure he's even, you know, like, I mean, we know Drake's been everywhere. He's been around the world twice, maybe, maybe three times. But still, it's still a difference of watching it versus being in it. So this sounds like something Drake would fall for. But also, let me say that this dude is kind of dumb. He's dumb because he could have got more money out of Drake by pretending that you got more info. So if you were smart, Cooley Bravo, you would have you you would have caked up. That was an easy lick. That was a lick right there that you gave up <laughs> by wanting to talk so so bad. That's another thing. Like cats be talking himself out of free money. I know he say like he don't really care about money in a sense, but come on, bro, you could have this could have been a nice, lovely lick right here if you were smart enough. If you didn't care to really be known. But that's why I'm I'm leaning more towards the possibility of this just being a clout chase. But anyways, that's all I got in this. Hop in my comment. Let me know how do you what do you think about this? Do you believe that this is a clout chase? Smash my like button. It's free ninety nine. It's the God Opelin L D T V reminding you. When you walk in these streets, it's quality over quantity. And I'm gone.